Let's play Minecraft 1.0 Java Edition for 100 days. Why do this in 2023? Well, because I want to play older versions of Minecraft I've never played before. Plus, the fog effect in this version of Minecraft reminds me a lot of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Smiley face. Starting day one, I pretty much get some food. Oh, hey there. You want to fall down for me? Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> I got jump scared by creepers a few times. Ah, another one. Leave me alone. I found a village and I thought I was saved, but there were zero beds for whatever reason in this village. I checked everywhere. All right, there's not much I could do. I couldn't find sheep earlier in the day. There's no beds in the village. There's another creeper. It was a rough start to day one of Minecraft, but the journey will continue. Day two of playing older Minecraft. So on my adventures to find sheep, I actually found Cow Island. Apparently cows like to go for a swim. Now I have extra food and I have leather. Thanks to everyone leaving comments on the previous video, I found out that you actually can't find a bed when you find a village. So that's why we're looking for sheep this entire video. Yeah, thank you. So once I found sheep, we got the wool we needed to make a bed. And of course, time got away from me yet again. It was nighttime. And for whatever reason, I basically was trying to make a bed in the open field during the nighttime. Yeah. So I went back to the village that I found and I made my bed and finished up the day. Day three of playing older Minecraft. I made some chests because I'm going to need some storage because this is the very start of building my perfect house. This area by the village I really like, so time for me to clean it up so I can start getting things put together very slowly. For the time being, I need a small house next to the main house project. I start building this house, but I need more oak planks. I plant some trees by the house and use bone meal to get the trees faster. I use the oak planks to finish up my house, and since it's nighttime, we go to bed. Day four of playing older Minecraft. Today's goal is to finish up my tiny house. I start collecting sand that's conveniently right next to my house. Time for more oak planks. I put down the furnace, start making glass, and then I start organizing my chest of all my stuff I have at the moment. So I went back to the village to get my crafting table. Now that the glass is ready, I start adding it to my house. Added more oak planks and then a door to my house. Things are looking good. Time for bed. I start day five of older Minecraft making some food. Cleaning up the area I'll be working on today. and putting down sugar cane because I'll need it later on. I craft myself a leather tunic because I don't have any armor at the moment and I need something. I start making a wheat farm because I like the location, but I for sure have more work to do overall. But hey, I got to start somewhere. Last thing is to make a path from my mining area to the main house because I have a fun project that I think will make this a cool add on to the house, but also super useful for day to day survival Minecraft stuff. Time for bed. Day six of playing older Minecraft. So a lot of the day spent making the foundation of my house. You're not going to get the full picture of the project today, so let's focus on what I did with the house. I worked on the connecting pathway for my house and the mining location. I started to work on the mining base location. Again, this is a really early concept. And to finish the day by putting torches everywhere because I really needed to if I'm going to build during the nighttime hours in the future.
time for bed. Day 7 was mainly a day to make room for my future house plans. I cleaned up the area around my house and I planted a ton of trees because either I'm going to use them later for supplies or I'm just going to use them to make my house look more interesting. On day number 8, I randomly found iron ore for the first time, which was nice because I wasn't trying to make any steel equipment at the moment, but hey, a win's a win. I battled some cows so I can get some extra food and some leather. I was finally able to make some leather pants because I had all this extra leather I got from the cows. And I did some wood cutting before I went to bed. On day number nine, we got to make an iron helmet. Ah, uh, yeah. I did some more work on my mining area, and this was kind of my main focus for a while. I found some coal, went back to working on my 99 wood cutting in Minecraft, and I made some torches before I called it a day. Day number 10 was all about my mining area. I made a furnace and a crafting table at the starting area of my mining location so I could just make things a little easier if I'm going to spend a lot of time at this mining location. It's a good thing I did that because I basically spent the entire day at this mining location. I was mining down, I was putting stairs down because basically this is going to be a staircase that goes all the way down so when I have to go get diamonds or if I just want to get diamonds I know exactly where to go because this mining location is right next to my house. Starting day 11, I made some iron boots. I spent a lot of time working on my mining staircase. It was almost done, but I was running out of time for the day. I used the iron I found to make two iron buckets. I got some water for one of the buckets to end the day. Day 12, I found gold for the first time. The main thing I've been working towards is finishing my mining location and it's finally done. Of course, this will change over time, but I'm exactly where I want to be, where I can start looking for diamonds in the future. And before we ended today, I actually finished my iron set of armor because I found so much iron while mining today. Yes, it took me 12 days of playing Minecraft to actually have a full set of iron. I'm well aware of this. I don't play like everybody else. That's the point. Day 13 was to find some diamonds. I found a lot of iron ore. I found redstone and lapis for the first time. And I found my first cave area underground while mining. It was actually really fun to see this when I was mining for diamonds. Unfortunately, we ended day 13 not finding any diamonds. Day number 14. I made a lot of steel pickaxes so I could focus on finding diamonds today. While mining, I heard some water and I found another interesting cave while looking for diamonds. I looked around this new area, I found some gold, and a creeper was just sitting on a block way above me doing nothing. While mining the redstone, I found my first diamond block right away. I ended up finding four diamonds today. Give it up for day 15. I collected a lot of wood so I could make some more torches, so then I could look for more diamonds. I finally collected wheat to make some bread for the first time. Yeah, I like forgot this was a thing because I've had food for quite a while, so like I think that's like important to talk about. I found more diamonds today. Yes, more diamonds. And towards the end of the day, I found a brand new cave, so I'm going to explore that next time. Day number 16, I went to the village that was actually pretty close to my house and there's a lot, and I mean a lot of wheat, which means bread. So for a while, that's what we did. I collected a ton of wheat. I eventually planted more seeds so I can get more of it later if I really need it. And then I made a lot of bread because I love this bread. Minecraft.
I finished the day by making a diamond helmet and a diamond pickaxe. Because why not? I'll see you on the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. Bye. Day 17 was exploring the cave I had found the other day. Look at that retro lava. Looking pretty cool. So this creeper was being so extra when it spawned. And of course it ruined my progress for a moment. I found some gold and lapis before today was over. I had a lot of fun today exploring this cave, but unfortunately there was no diamonds to be found today. On day number 18, I left the cave I was exploring so I could make some books. Yeah, that's an interesting way to start a day. It's also a little odd to make a book without using leather, like at all. Yeah, old Minecraft, very interesting. I use my handy dandy bucket of water so I could make some obsidian blocks show up. And then it took a while to mine all of the obsidian blocks. I did all of that because we ended today by making an enchanting table, but I'm not ready to use it right now. But at least I have my enchanting table. Day 19. I put down some kelp so I could start to have a farm for paper so I can make bookshelves later on. I put down oak planks to fill in the base of my house. I know it's been a while since I've worked on my house. I planted more trees because I need a lot of oak planks in the future. Collected more wood for oak planks. Finished the base level of my house with oak planks and then put some torches down. Finally made some bookshelves for my enchanting table, and I finished the day by starting to make the area of where I want to put my enchanting table in my house. Day 20 started by finishing the enchanting table area that I want for my house. I put down dirt blocks around the area of where I was going to put bookshelves in the future. I put down my enchanting table and the bookshelves that I already made from the previous day. So since my enchanting table area was not finished with bookshelves, I did not want to use any enchantments for my tools at the moment. I also have no idea what the enchantments do because in this version of Minecraft, they don't flat out tell you before you choose an enchantment. So I didn't want to pick the wrong one and then waste experience. I finished the day by collecting and planting more sugarcane because I need to make a lot of bookshelves in the future for my enchanting table area. Day 21, I went on another adventure for diamonds, but unfortunately was not able to find any today. Since I spent most of the day looking for diamonds, I wanted to do something productive at the end. I made my first enchanted tools, and I just picked them at random. Because this version of Minecraft does not tell you what you'll get beforehand, so for my two iron pickaxes, one of them got efficiency 1 and unbreaking 1, and the other one got efficiency 1. Day 22 started with making lapis blocks for my house. I went looking for diamonds. Did I find any? No. On the plus side, I found more lapis while mining. I have a fun project for my house, but I can't do it just yet. So you'll have to wait and see what that turns into. Day 23, I made some iron buckets because why not? Planted more sugar cane and collected some from the farm. And then I went to chop down them trees because we are starting to build my house. But not today. Tomorrow is when things start because I finally have enough oak planks ready to build my house. Day 24 started with making some books. Working on my wheat farm and I also made another wheat farm at a new location behind my house. This is where the fun begins. So I started using all those oak planks I got the other day, fixing up the grass blocks in my house, and putting up cobblestone pillars for the foundation of my house to add some extra layers and whatnot. And this is what I got done today. Day 25 of old Minecraft started with putting down more glass blocks for my house. And then I pretty much spend the entire day setting up the lighting in my house. I wanted to use the lapis blocks I had because I wanted my house to have like more personality and color to it. So I thought using the lapis blocks would actually be pretty interesting because I was going to put a bunch of torches on them. And yeah, so here's the final result.
How do you think it looks? Before I ended today, I enchanted my iron shovel and I got efficiency one. Day 26 of old Minecraft. It was time to do some yard work because I didn't like how things were looking. I found a small area of water and I turned it into another spot that I could start growing my wheat because bread. Collecting sand was literally an all day activity. I'm not joking. I collected a lot of sand, a lot. I made another spot for collecting wheat because I thought it would be cool. Smiley face. Like I said, it was an all day activity. I have a lot of sand. I made a bunch of furnaces because I had to turn all of this sand into glass. To finish the day, I made a bunch of iron shovels. I made a brand new chest and I put it next to my side house so I'll always know that that chest has a bunch of useful equipment so that I can easily grab shovels whenever I need them. Day 27 of old Minecraft started with collecting glass. Because if you remember from yesterday, I made a lot of glass and it's time to use it for my house. Epic montage Minecraft video where Steve starts building his house. So I had to stop working because I ran out of oak planks for my roof. So I finished the day by chopping some trees so I could make more oak planks for later. Here's a before and after picture of what the house looked like before I used all the glass blocks today. I thought this was fun to showcase because a lot literally has changed in only one day of work. Day 28 of old Minecraft was not a very exciting day, but hear me out. We started some stuff. I started working on the roof of my house. Put more glass blocks down. And of course, there was oak planks everywhere. Like I said, it wasn't a very exciting day of Minecraft, but at the end of the day, it had to happen because progress is progress. This house is coming together. I'm really liking it, but just not a lot of stuff happened today. It was kind of boring, but like, again, it was important because it's just one step closer to finishing this house. Day 29 of old Minecraft. So to make my house look better, I decided to use wood blocks as like a foundation for my house to just make it look more put together. So like it just looks nice. We don't have that many options for blocks in this version of Minecraft, obviously. So using wood blocks just made it look really nice. I also finished filling in the roof of my house. And I finished the day by moving my bed from my temporary house to the main house because, well, I'm spending a lot more time here. Day 30 of old Minecraft. So for today, I wanted to use cobblestone to add more to my house, which really means I'm just adding cobblestone inside of my house to just make this enchanting table area look more interesting because that's pretty much what it looks like right now. It's not really a house per se. It's just, it looks like a house on the outside and then you walk inside and it's just an enchanting table because it doesn't really look like a house quite yet. But you know, I really liked how the cobblestone added more to the house so far, even though it looks like I have a house for my enchanting table. I collected wheat and sugar cane so I could make some bread and bookshelves before we officially end day 30 of old Minecraft. 